Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we have another bargain or bust, one of my new favorite videos to film, especially since there's so many sales going on. So for bargain or bust, I go through a website sale section and then I tell you whether or not the items are a bargain or they're a bust and you should just pass on it because a lot of times, just because an item's on sale, we feel the need to purchase it. But in all actuality, sometimes, you know, that item is on sale for a reason. So if you would like to see Bergdorf Goodman's 25 percent off sale on beauty then just keep watching i swear my neighbors can sense when i film and then they do yard work and mow the lawn so if you hear any mowing going on my utmost apologies i gotta film when i gotta film though so we just gotta move past it please ignore my mispronunciation of bergdorf goodman what not you <laughs> It's one of those things where you say it wrong the first time and then you just get used to saying it and then you know it's wrong but you still can't help but say it. So I'm sorry. So today we're going to talk about Bergdorf Goodman's 25% off sale on Select Beauty. I normally don't shop off this website but sometimes I will occasionally. They'll get the one-off thing that none of the other retailers have. I wasn't going to do this video but you guys seem very interested. What? I'm going to scoot over here. And we're gonna pull up the sales page. The last one I did was Neiman Marcus and there was just so many items I didn't know what to talk about for the majority of them. So I filtered it to mostly brands where I can talk about the items. So there are other brands. I know Edward Bess, uh, Surratt was there. There was just a lot of other brands that you might wanna check out, but I did click the ones that I at least know something about. So we're starting off strong with the Tom Ford lipsticks, $27. By the way, at this point, a lot of the luxury makeup carriers they have had 25% off sales so right now the items are starting to get repetitive but the reason that this is exciting is before this whole pandemic happened luxury makeup just didn't go on sale it was very rare especially for 25% off so obviously it's not as rare now it seems like it's one department store after the other having this sale but this never happened before this is rare which is why I want to point it out to you you probably have already made your luxury purchases because of all the sales but you know if there's anything last minute that you want to purchase this might be a good time so that's why we're starting off with Tom Ford's the sheer lipsticks are really nice for summer so these are $27 it looks like it's just one shade Dorothy but this looks like a beautiful color I personally have never tried this color but his sheer lipstick formula is beautiful summer is coming up this is one of the best formulas for summer and I think if this is an item you're interested in this is definitely worth looking into and being a bargain they also have the new Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. Every company has had this on sale. I think this concealer is okay. There's like no coverage to it. It's just like something to brighten up the under eyes a little bit, give you a little bit of coverage. But if you're a full coverage queen, run far away from this. But it sits really pretty with the skin and I think it goes very well with all of the skin tints and the tinted moisturizers that you're going to wear this summer. So I think it's a very summer appropriate concealer and $28 is a really good deal. So I think that's a bargain if you haven't picked up this concealer yet but just know if you're a coverage queen run far 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 away from it I mean I've talked about I don't know why you brought me here but okay so I've talked about the Dior forever skin correct concealer it's one of ignore the drag queen I have as my background on my phone <laughs> it's one of those things where you go into the Sephora store and it does your makeup for you <laughs> my boyfriend did that in Sephora and I took it and made it my background it's one of the better, newer concealers that are out right now. It's really good for $27. It's a good deal if you've been interested in trying it. My battery's dying. If you've been interested in trying it, I would recommend if you've been still hemming and hawing, I like it a lot. So one thing that Bergdorf Goodman has that all the other department stores don't have is Pat McGrath. So she did have a 25% off sale for a long, long time, but if you did miss out, Bergdorf Goodman, I'm sorry I said it wrong, our whole beginning of this 25% off the Pat McGrath Lust Glosses. The Lust Glosses are one of my favorite lip gloss formulas. Let's see what colors do they have? We're not specifying here. What color is this? Okay, well, I'm just gonna show you this. Um, Dare to Bear is one of my favorites. 
Faux Rail is a really, really great, very light milky color if you're into nude colors. Flesh Astral is a really pretty glittery peachy color. Divine Rose, if you like those mauve kind of lips, you will really like Divine Rose. So, Lust Gloss, definitely a bargain. Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. I'm wearing this right now. I think it's a really nice summer foundation. If I'm being honest though, I'm not crazy about it. I think the wear time on it kind of sucks. So I have to keep you guys updated on this product, but I'm... <laughs> this is good for the summer. I don't know that it's worth $45, but for $33, I think it would be worth it because it's very nice and natural. If you are going out and like exploring or hiking or anything, don't get this foundation, but it does sit really pretty on the skin. I've talked about this plenty on my channel every time I see it on sale, and then there's a reason that it's been on sale on every website. The Tom Ford Badass Quad bust it's crap it's not worth 66 dollars oh the pat mcgrath concealer please do it oh my goodness it's my favorite concealer it's in a battle with my Too face born this way but like this is such a good concealer i haven't heard one person say anything bad about it and all of you guys that have put you onto it you all have reported back to me and said you loved it so this concealer is the best for $24, absolutely. It's, it's way worth more than you pay anyways. So if you can get this for $24, girl, all right. These Gucci lipsticks, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't tried the metallic. The regular Gucci lipsticks are wonderful. $46 is a lot for a lipstick. This is marked down to $34.50. I'm not into metallic lipsticks, so for me, this is a bust. The packaging is gorgeous, but I'm not gonna pay $35 for a metallic lipstick, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure I have and I will continue to do so in the future and do horrible things like that and speak against my own word, but... These are weird colors too. Don't do it. But, you know, the Opulus glosses, these are new. So there's three shades here. Lavendering, Dreamscape, and Bronze Seductress. These are wonderful. These are a newer formula as well. $22, Hex, yes. That's a bargain. That is a bargain. Mm. Now this one is a little bit more reasonable. Um, these are the regular Gucci lipsticks and the formula is incredible. They're that made in Italy, wonderful, soft, smooth, moisturizing, creamy, pigmented formula. I have a few. This is quite a large range, but $31 is still a hefty price for a lipstick. I can't even remember what colors I like, to be honest. But if you are on the market for a freaking Gucci lipstick with like the most luxe, extra amazing packaging, I spoke about this, I think, at Saks. I don't know why some is taking me to the website. Some is not. But anyways, $46. It looks like child's makeup. I'm all over the place. $46. This looks like child's makeup. I'm just... <laughs> no, don't do that. We have more Gucci lipsticks, more Lust lip glosses. Anybody tried this Tom Ford Hydrating Lip Balm for men? $20. My boyfriend would not let me spend $20 on a lip balm for him. He'll buy something else that's dumb that he thinks is worth it. We have more Tom Ford lipsticks. Always, always a good time to get them on sale. I did purchase the Guerlain foundation from Neiman Marcus. That will be in tomorrow's haul. I am gonna haul the items that I got. Don't know if it's worth it yet, but I thought it was to order it for the sale. We have these compacts. What are these? Are these like, what are you? Is there anything inside of you? Load description. It's like a mirror? Is this just a mirror? No, it's filled <laughs> with a perfecting pressed powder. Maybe the powder is good. I don't know. I don't like Zodiacs. I'm just gonna say that's a bust. Ooh, yes. Of course, you know, I have nothing but positives to say about Pat McGrath. Any of her palettes, if you can get them on sale, get them. 25% off is a steal, $93, which still sounds like crazy. This is so worth it, though, you guys. Ugh, this one is beautiful. Such a good deal, too. Bargain! Ooh, Shantikai, the luminescent eyeshades. These are so good too. I almost got another one from the Neiman Marcus sale. I decided not to because it's still $40 for a single eyeshadow. But if you have the money and you want this, their shadows are beautiful. But they are kind of a bust. Like, it is a ripoff. $40 for a single eyeshadow. But they are beautiful. So it's... <laughs> 
it, it's a tough position. Beautiful eyeshadows. I highly recommend them. But dang, $40 still is a lot. We got more of these stupid compacts from Estee. Sorry if you think they're great. I, I just can't. I can't. Um, and I'm a packaging girl. $51 for the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Foundation. This one I think is more of a reasonable price because $68 is a bit much for this foundation because it's kind of a light coverage foundation. I really like it. I find it to be comfortable on my skin. I love the way that it wears. I just think it looks really natural, but $68 is a lot for what it is. So for $51, I think that this is definitely a better value. So if you've been wanting to try it, this is a good time to. The, both of the primer and the setting powder, personally, I don't think either of these products are worth it. I don't think they are a strong suit in Pat's line. Uh, I think the products are fine. They do their job, but they're just average. $45 for the primer though, that's still ridiculous. And $60 is just outrageous. $41 for the powder. I'm just not really into the powder. I think the powder is better than the primer. But both, I think, are kind of a bust. I, I could pass without those products. Clay de Poe is on here. We got some Dior. Mm, I love these. This is such a steal. The Crush Liquid Lip Influencer Shades from Bobbi Brown. These were a collection that came out a while ago. I actually use both of these shades a lot. West Coast Bay. Oh, just kidding. It looks like just West Coast Bay, which is a little bit more of a brown. I haven't tried this other Hush Hush. But West Coast Bay, if you like those brownie, taupey kind of lips, you will like that. That one is a really good color. Definitely a bargain. I really like Dior bronzers. I have a new one coming in soon from their new summer collection. I don't think their bronzers are the best thing in the world. So if you're tight on money, definitely a bust for this Dior bronzer. But I'm interested. <gasps> I want to try these so bad. Not, not you. You. Hello? The Tom Ford Lip Sparks, $41. Still outrageous. But these, have you seen them in store? They're so glittery. They are kind of a metallic lip, which I hate metallic lips, but I want to own one of these because they're just so pretty. $41 is still a lot. But if you were eyeing that, I can't speak on it. I've never tried these, but I've swatched them in store and they're so pretty and glittery. Um, lots of Tom Ford. These, oh. Thank goodness. The Pat McGrath Eyeshadow Idols are the biggest ripoff ever. These ought to be 25% off permanently. You get the smallest amount of product. It's like a huge value, like up price if you do the math. It's ridiculous. Even $18, I'm like, that's still kind of a ripoff. So I'm gonna say bust on these. I don't really recommend you pick these up unless there actually is specifically a shade that you know you're gonna use and love and you really want and you're not gonna get it in a big palette. Sure, but for the most part, these are a bust even at 25% off. The quality is beautiful, but the value is just sickening. Like, just no. I saw this. The Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I really liked this. I need to try it again. It's been a while. My preferences for foundations have changed and evolved over the last few months. But I used to really like this, and $36 is kind of affordable. Especially for Laura Mercier, that's a good price. So... I need to look into that and try it again. But that's a good foundation that I know I really liked. All right, so we're bringing you to the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer right next to the Power Fabric Compact Foundation. The concealer, huge bargain. This is one of my favorite concealers ever. It provides a medium to full coverage. It's really smooth, it blends out, it's very hydrating. On the opposite end is this compact foundation, which is awful. $51, it is not worth it. That is a bust. Stay far away from that. It emphasizes all of my dry patches and just looks horrid. In case you couldn't get the Pat McGrath Ultra Lip Pencil, do they have... I'm looking... It doesn't look like... Oh, sorry guys. We don't have contour here, but the Pat McGrath Lip Liners are one of the best in the business. As with... Their Blitz Trance lipsticks. Haven't tried my highlighter and balm duo, which I did purchase. I need to give that a go. Lip balms. Okay, some of y'all are gonna fight me on this. I know it, but I think that her lip balms are a ripoff. Even at $28, I don't find them to do much. 
Some of you really like them as purse lip balms. Some of you just think they're a really good lip balm. I think they're fine, but I think $28 is a bit much. Personally, don't come for me, but I think that's a bit of a bust. Good time to get liquid liner from her though. I really like her liquid liner. I haven't tried any of these Dior foundations. I'm a fake fan. Can't believe I've never tried them. Heard good things about them, but also heard bad things about them. I like the Armani liquid blushes. I only have one and I think it's nice. I think they are a bit overpriced though. So I think $27 is a bit more reasonable, but I think it's a nice liquid blush. I, there's some things I have against it though. It's okay, it's like a $27 is pretty good. Lots of Sicily and Clé de Peau. I know nothing about both of those brands, but I wanted to keep them on here just so I could stare at them. <laughs> One of the Chantecaille blushes are on on sale for $30. I purchased two from Neiman Marcus. I haven't used them yet. I'm waiting till tomorrow to use them, but it looks like one of the shades and laughter is on sale. Oh, and House of Siage. Beautiful lipsticks. I really like House of Siage. They're just so luxe. You can get a lipstick refill for $26. You're not going to get the bow that it's in, which is like the best part of the brand, but if you are looking for some colors to fill your bow with, if you have it, that's Good bargain, good bargain, because you really don't have houses siage sold everywhere. Whenever I go through these sale pages, I really realize how much more makeup I need to try. Uh, Laura Mercier Ultra Flawless Longwear Concealer. I have it, I think it's okay, but I wouldn't repurchase it. So do with that what you will. Good time in the summer though to get your YSL tinted moisturizer. I like mine a lot. I think it's really good. I bought it when I was on vacation. It was like one of my favorite products to wear for the summer and just out. So that's really worth it. In my opinion, we're coming to the end people. Is there anything else? The, oh, can I update you guys? Not on this. Why is it opening all the wrong stuff? Let me update you guys quickly. I am going to do an update video, but the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick. So many people love it. I don't love it. I don't. I'm going to be, it's too thick. She's too thick on me. I can see it sitting on top of my skin, which is a big pet peeve of mine. Like it wears better than the Estee one that I bought at the same time, but the Estee one looks better. So I'm going to wear the one that just looks better versus the one that I can see it on my skin. I do need to play around with it more, but it's not working for me. I don't, I don't know. I don't get what the hype is about. I'm missing something. There's more colors of the Tom Ford sheer lipstick. Oh, good old Armani Luminous Silk. It's a great, reliable. <gasps> I got it all that way and I just exited it out. Dang it. Hold on. Anyways, as I was saying, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is such a great and reliable product. We're back in business. Now let's scroll down to where's, where's I was. I'm glad I went through all of that work because the Tom Ford, no! Bergdorf Goodman, your app sucks. This is it, I'm not going back. I am not going back. Okay, you know what guys? Bergdorf Goodman, please fix your app because it wasn't very functional for me. I'm gonna edit it there. We've talked about enough products anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful if you were looking to see if there were some items that you wanted to pick up. I hope I helped narrow it down for you if you were feeling at all overwhelmed. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.